This is Honors Geometry, Lesson 11-4, Circumference and Arc Length. So a couple reminders. First thing is the circumference of a circle is just the distance around. It's a linear measurement. Um, and then what is pi? We're going to be talking about pi a lot. If you ask anybody, they'll say pi is 3.14. But the official math definition of pi, it's the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. So if you take the circumference of any circle and divide it by the diameter, it should come out to be about 3.14, about pi. And the formula for circumference, again, is uh, the diameter times pi, or if you have the radius, you have to multiply it by 2 and then by pi. We're going to talk about arc length. So what is arc length? Arc length is the length of an arc, a linear measurement. Um, and let's just talk about that. So say you have a circle, and the circumference of the circle is, let's just make it easy, 12 inches. So if you took half of that circle and you wanted to know the length of half of this circle, obviously you would say that 12 divided by 2 would give you 6 inches. If we wanted a quarter of that circle, you would take 12 divided by 4 and you would see that's about 3 inches. What if it was something that wasn't as easy as a half or a quarter? What if you wanted, say, a 60 degree slice of that circle? How would we find that? Okay. So we would have to figure out what fraction. The one was half, the other one was a quarter. What if it was 60 degrees out of 360? We would simplify that and would say it's one-sixth of the circle. So obviously we would want one-sixth of the circumference. So we're going to set up a proportion, and we're going to say that the ratio of the length, that's what we're looking for, what's the length of this arc? I'm just going to call it L for length, is to the circumference, I'm going to call that C, is equal to the ratio of the measure, Remember, we were using measure in degrees, so I'm just going to call that m, is to the length of the arc, oh, is to 360, okay? So we're saying what fraction of the circumference is the same as the fraction of our measure is to the whole circle. So this is the proportion we're going to use. Let's practice. Okay. So we're looking for the length of arc AB. So again, the little shortcut, we're going to say the length is to the circumference as the measure is to 360. The length is our unknown. Our circumference, remember formula is 2 times the radius times pi. And we set that equal to the measure, which we're given is 40 is to 360. We're going to say, hey, what fraction of the circle is this? It's 40 degrees out of 360. We're going to cross multiply. So I have L times 360, so that's going to give me 360L. And we're going to say 2 times 6 times pi times 40. And that gives me about uh, 1507.96. And we're going to say, oops, oops, that was supposed to be here. Let's fix that 1507.96. And we're going to divide both sides. So I was cross multiplying. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 360. And we would say that the length of that arc is about 4.2 meters. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. Let's try that again. So our proportion is length is to circumference as measure is to 360. We're saying what fraction of the whole circle, that's what fraction of our circumference we want. So our length is our unknown. 
our circumference is 2 times the radius times pi. The measure we're given is 120 and over 360. It's going to be one third of the whole circumference. So we're going to cross multiply again. L times 360 is going to give you 360L. I'm going to multiply 2 times 14 times pi times 120. And that gives me about 10,555.75. We're going to divide that by 360. And that says that the length of this arc is about 29.3 centimeters. And that seems reasonable. If that's 14, that looks like a little over twice that length. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're going to do some backwards ones. Now we're given the length of the arc, and the question is, what's the measure in degrees? What would the measure of that arc be? So again, we're going to go to length is to circumference as measure is the 360. This time we have the L. We have the 8.73. Circumference is 2 times the radius, or 20 pi. And the measure is our unknown, so I'm going to leave that as m is 2, 360. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. So I'm going to take 20 pi times m and set that equal to 360 times 8.73. And that gives me 3, oh, this looks good. 3,142.8. We're going to divide each side by 20 pi to get the measure. And if you do this to your calculator, make sure you put parentheses around that. Um, so we're going to say 3142.8 divided by 20 pi. And it's going to tell us that the measure of the arc is about 50 degrees. All right, this time we're missing our C. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but the C is missing. I'm going to jump ahead one because this one's a little bit more difficult. This time we're they're looking for the radius, and if you look at our proportion, there is no R in that. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the circumference is, and then we're going to use that to find the radius. So here we go. Let's start off with our proportion. Length is to circumference as measure is to 360. Our length we're given is 38.95. Our circumference, we don't know that, so we're going to leave that as a C. Our measure is 260 degrees out of 360. Just to make our work a little bit easier, I'm going to cancel those zeros out. Our numbers will be a little bit smaller. Let's cross multiply. I get 26C equals, I'm going to take 38.95, 38.95 times 36, and that's going to give me 1402.2, divide each side by 26. And our circumference is going to be about oh, 53.93. Why don't we make that 54? Okay, now the question is what's the radius? So we know circumference means 2 times the radius times pi equals 54. So to get radius by itself, we're going to divide each side by 2 pi. And we'll get the radius equals, again, I'm going to put that in parentheses. So I'm going to take 54 divided by, open parentheses, 2 pi, close parentheses. And I get it's about 8.6 is our radius. All right. One more thing I want to talk about is the perimeter of the shaded region. So our shaded region would be this part. There there and there. 
So we're going to take 13 plus 13, the straight part, now the curved part. It looks like they're telling us the diameter is 6, which means our radius is 3. And it looks like we have half of a circle here and half of a circle here. So together we have the whole circle. So we're just going to add the diameter or the circumference of the circle. And we know circumference is diameter, which in this case is 6 times pi. We're going to combine that together, 26 plus 6 pi. And we can see that the perimeter of the shaded region, let me do that, 26 plus 6 pi is about 44.8 and the units we'll just say let's try one more okay so the perimeter of the shaded region so that would be here straight whoops there and straight so we can see our two straightaways so there's six so i'm going to start with that i'm going to say six plus six and then it looks like I have a quarter of my circumference and another quarter of my circumference. So together I have half of our circumference. So, and it looks like our radius is going to be three. So I'm going to add half of my circumference. So it's going to be two times the radius, which is three times pi. And I could just cancel out that 1 half times 2. That's just going to save us a little bit of work. So I'm going to take 6 plus 6 plus 3 pi, or 12 plus 3 pi. And let me punch that in and see what our answer is. 12 plus 3 pi. And our final answer looks like about 21.4 units. All right. Please try the practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.